For the first two to three days following birth, your blood loss may be like a heavy period. Over the next week, the amount will gradually lessen and the colour will change from red to brownish pink. It is normal to experience period-like cramps during breastfeeding for the first few days. Please let your midwife know if your blood loss increases or you are concerned. Your perineum is the area of skin and muscle between the vagina and anus that has stretched to allow your baby to be born. If you have had a perineal tear or an episiotomy, it is important to keep the perineum clean by showering each day and changing sanitary pads at least every four hours to reduce infection. Be sure to rest, lie down regularly to decrease swelling and pressure and aim for 50 to 15 to 20 minutes each hour. Ice the area regularly, leaving it on for 10 minutes at a time and reapplying each hour or so. Support yourself by sitting with folded towels under your thighs. Do not use a donut pillow. Use your hand to support you when you cough, sneeze or laugh. Frequent gentle pelvic floor muscle activation and releases will help circulation and healing. Move smoothly and carefully, avoiding any straining, holding your breath or lifting anything heavy. Avoid any sit-up actions. Always roll to your side and then use your arms to push forwards and up into a sitting position. Your uterus will return to its pre-pregnancy state six weeks after the birth of your baby, but your abdominal muscles have stretched to allow your baby to grow and may take several months to recover. Avoiding any breath holding or strain will help your abdominal and pelvic floor muscles to recover better. If you have had a caesarean birth, your dressing should remain clean and dry. Most women will experience some pain following childbirth. Paracetamol is an effective pain reliever and regular doses can prevent pain from developing. When pain does occur, it is usually less severe and requires smaller doses of stronger medication to provide relief. You can take an anti-inflammatory in addition to paracetamol to help control your pain. Vary your position throughout the day as comfortable. Try lying down on the bed with your knees slightly bent, sitting in a chair or gentle walking. Move and change position when in bed. Start with simple movements like pelvic rocking and gentle knee rocking. Support your abdominal wound when you cough, sneeze and laugh. Try to have your legs bent up as well. For abdominal bloating or difficulty passing wind, try gentle abdominal massage in a clockwise direction as shown by your physiotherapist. Please speak to your midwife if your pain is not adequately controlled. When going to the toilet, you'll need to try to pass urine every three to four hours. Passing urine may be difficult because you may not be able to feel what you are doing. If you have stitches or grazes, passing urine may sting, so try doing this in the shower, leaning forward on the toilet, or tipping warm water over your perineum as you sit on the toilet. Drinking lots of water will dilute your urine, which may also help. When moving your bowels, it is normal to not feel like you need to for a few days after birth. Your bowel motions may need to remain soft and easy to pass as this allows stretched muscles and a stitched perineum to heal quickly and well. It is important to eat fresh fruit, brown bread, whole grain cereals and to drink plenty of water. When you go to the toilet, use that lean forward position and use a clean pad to gently support your stitches. Do not strain, just try to relax and take your time. This will be important to follow for at least six weeks after birth while the affected tissues heal properly, but lifelong, it is also a good habit. After having your baby, you should always get in and out of bed on your side, as this reduces the strain on your perineum, back and tummy. Lie on your back, 
with both knees bent up. Roll over on your side without twisting too much. Use your arms to push your body forward as your legs go down at the same time. Remember to keep breathing, keep your knees bent and come forward in one smooth action. If you are able to gently draw in the pelvic floor before and as you get up, this may be feeling more comfortable. Regular, gentle pelvic floor contractions will help to reduce swelling and discomfort. As your muscles become stronger, they will help you move more easily. Continue to do regular pelvic floor sessions each day to strengthen the deep muscular core of your body. These muscles help to support and protect your uterus, bladder, bowel, spine and pelvic joints and will help you avoid pain and weakness in the perineum, tummy and back. It is important to eat well after the birth of your baby, just as it is when you are pregnant. Your body needs food from all five food groups to help it recover from birth. When you are breastfeeding, eating everything in moderation is the general rule. Breastfeeding mothers often have large appetites, so you'll need to satisfy your appetite with healthy food choices. You'll also become thirstier when breastfeeding, but drink to quench your thirst only. Thirst is satisfied best by water and not by soft drinks or juice. It can be useful to have a drink ready when you are feeding. The following three videos will take you through baby care essentials. The first video is about nappy change for your baby, including everything you need to have close at hand and things to remember with baby girls and baby boys. The second video includes information on dressing your baby, wrapping techniques and caution on overheating and when wrapping should be discontinued. The third video explores how to carry and handle your baby to assist their development while looking after your posture and back, as well as baby massage, tummy time, and positioning to encourage baby's development. That concludes today's session. Please ask your midwife if you have any further questions.